Hi, my name is Al Williams. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos before, you'll know I produce videos, tutorials for Tableau and SAP Business Objects. In this video, we're going to have a look at um, some new functionality in Tableau 10.5. So one of the key areas where they've made some changes is they've introduced what they call this Hyper Data Engine. So it's an in-memory data engine technology. And um, what it does is for large data sets, um, it really improves the speed and efficiency of Tableau. I did, I have done some benchmarking myself and um, with large data sets you most certainly do notice a difference. But this video isn't going to touch on that. What I'm going to be looking at in this video is one of the most anticipated um, areas of functionality I think in, in a number of years. So when I was at the Tableau conference in Austin, Texas in November 2016, they gave us a sneak preview of this functionality and then again in Las Vegas this past um, October they showed it again. So this is visualization in tooltip. Really interesting cool functionality and let's get started. Okay we're going to start off with a empty worksheet which I've renamed Map Sales and the data that we're using is from a sample database that's available from Microsoft it's called the AdventureWorks database and if you just google AdventureWorks sample database you'll be able to find where it is. It's on this GitHub site but if you're interested in using this data for some of the work you're doing it's free and easy to obtain. I want to create a map showing the sales. I'm going to bring in the country region name and state province name and I'm going to bring in the sales amount into the detail. We should be seeing different amounts by province or state. I'm going to change this to this type of map. I'm going to bring the um, some of the sales also into color. Okay, so let's just zoom in a little bit. So I'm seeing for every province and state in US and Canada a map showing the sales, the country, the state or province, and the sales amount. So historically in Tableau, these are the types of tooltips that you have. You can you can make changes to them. A lot of formatting was previously available. But what I'm going to show you now is how to install a tooltip that actually has another visualization that will show even more information about the data point you're looking at. Before we go any further, I want to add a filter to the product category. In this case, I just want to see bikes. Apply. Okay. Go ahead and create another worksheet. And in this worksheet, I'm just going to rename it subcategory sales. And in here, I'm going to bring in the product subcategory. amount text. I'm going to add that same filter for the product category. Again, I'm just filtering on, on bikes here. So the three different types of bikes. I want to have this type of table with the colors and I want to sort this highest to lowest. And we'll just make this a little bit bigger. And I want to add a total, analysis totals, show column grand totals. And I'm just going to change the formatting. I'll go to fields and pick the sum sales amount. So the grand totals, I want the number to be a little bit different. I want currency, custom, I don't want zero, any decimal places. Okay, and for Default, I just want number custom. I don't want any any decimal places here either. Just a few more formatting issues on this. I don't need to see this column header, so I'm just going to say hide field labels for rows. This grand total, um, let's 
put here by default as the label for the total. I'm just going to have to say total sales, so that's under header grand totals. So we go total sales, and I'll just make this column a little bit wider. Okay, so now I've got another worksheet here, broken down by the different subcategories of bikes and I see they have a total sale. So this would be for everything, every country, every state, province, every region. Now what I want to do is have that show in the tooltip on this sheet. So in order to have that other sheet show in the tooltip, what I go is I go in the tooltip over here and it's actually very easy folks all you got to do is um, I can I can keep the existing information I have in the tooltip and add the worksheet underneath if I want in this case I just want to delete the default tooltip information and insert sheets subcategory sales so what it has here is it's inserted a reference to that sheet with a max width and max height which you can change and we'll say okay so now if I hover over province or state, I'm seeing a breakdown of sales by the subcategories and so I'm getting more information than I had previously in the tooltip. But we can take this a step further. We can create another visualization and have two visualizations in the same tooltip. So let's get started on that. In order to have another visualization appear in the tooltip, we have to create another worksheet. And in this case, I want to bring in Let's see the order date. And I want to bring in sales amount. And I want to make it. I want to make the date continuous. And I want to go down. Month. So I'm seeing a breakdown of sales, total sales for every category by month and year. And I also want to make sure I have that same filter. It's important that I have the filter for the category because we're using just bikes here. Now there may be a way to tie this filter in to the original worksheet. If there is, I'm not aware of how to do that yet. If I do find out, I'll update this video. Okay, so now I have a line chart with showing sales month by month um, for the three years we have data in this data set. I'm going to change the worksheet name to sales over time. And I'm going to hide, I don't need to see the sales amount on the axis and the month of order date, so I can right click here, edit the axis, and for title I'm just going to get rid of it. Apply. Okay, and same at the bottom. Get rid of the title. Okay, now we're ready to insert this into the original worksheet map sales. Let's go back to map sales and go into tooltip. And I can go here, add all the space between, go insert sheet sales over time. Let's just have a look at what this looks like now. So now I have two worksheets embedded as a tooltip, but I want to add a bit more information to add some context here. So I'm going to go edit the tooltip. And I'm going to go up here and say insert state province name. And then I'm just going to type in some text. Breakdown of sales by subcategory and down here sales over time. Now I want to format this so it sticks out a bit. Give it this green color, 11, bold, center it. We'll make this color Blue and this one the same. And we'll also center these. I guess we'll just center everything so it looks consistent. 
And let's just click OK and see what we've got here now. So now if I hover over Alberta, for example, I'm seeing a label. This is Alberta, breakdown of sales by subcategory. So that was just text entered into the tooltip and sales over time and the two worksheets. So there you go, Tableau 10.5. Very, very easy to create very dynamic tooltips that provide even more insight into your data. So once again, this was Al Williams. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any suggestions for other topics in Tableau you'd like me to cover, please let me know. One more thing, you'll notice on my website and page headers I have Business Intelligence Professional, Amateur Bodybuilder, and Passionate Vegan. I've added a page to my site um, talking about my reasons for switching to a vegan diet, and um, if you're interested in reading it, please do so, and I'm always open to having discussions about that as well. So once again, thank you for your time.